Hey everybody, Aaron Cowan, Sage Dynamics, and this is Trigicon Type 2 RMR at 20,000 rounds. That's 20,000 rounds of ammunition. Uh, fired throughout my standardized optic evaluation procedure. If you're not familiar with the procedure, uh, one of the things it includes, it seems to be what most people focus on, is the drop testing. I do a drop test every 500 rounds, which means for 20,000 rounds, 20,000 times two, this thing took 40 shoulder height drop tests. Now we'll get into the particulars of its performance over that 20,000 rounds, but I can say right now, up front definitively, this is the most durable handgun optic on the market. But we can't leave it just there, so let's get into the specifics. This particular model is the 3.25 MOA version of the Type 2 RMR, which is the improved version of the Type 1 RMR, which arguably was never super intended to be put on handguns, and even though people were putting them on there, it did have some problems that were corrected on the Type 2. Really, my only feature on the Type 2 that I didn't care for was the auto reset. So if I go into manual mode, which manual mode is something I want, and I pick a brightness setting after 16 hours, the Type 2 is going to kick it back to auto adjust. So every day I have to make that adjustment manually. It's a small deal. Uh, one thing I can say is from June of 2017 to August of 2019, which that's how long it took me to get to 20,000 rounds and 40 drops, I only went through two batteries. So what's been going on for the past 20,000 rounds? Well, if you saw the initial video, which came out in June of 2017, you saw the initial 2,000 round review process. Uh, the next 18,000 rounds was more of the same. Of course, I did an update video as well, somewhere in their middle, but this is the 20,000 rounds. Why 20,000 rounds? Uh, it's a good round number. And 20,000 rounds, I feel is, and this is just my professional, personal, slash personal opinion, 20,000 rounds is an excellent benchmark for what I would consider to be the service life, expected service life, bottom line, benchmark service life of a duty handgun slash duty optic. Uh, obviously, some people are never gonna shoot 20,000 rounds through a handgun or 20,000 rounds through the optic mounted on the handgun, but isn't it nice to know that you could? Honestly, I could have gotten it to 20,000 rounds a lot faster, but since I was going to shoot the gun anyway, this particular gun, it's an agency arms package and it's milled specifically for an RMR. Uh, so it's been riding this gun the entire time in a few different configurations and there's been some parts on the gun that had to be replaced, but one thing that didn't have to be replaced was the optic, except for two batteries uh, over that just over two year time frame. The optic has remained consistently zeroed throughout that process. So the very first time I zeroed this gun, for the beginning 2000 round process is the exact same zero that's on it right now. Let that sink in a little bit. I've zeroed this gun once. So I'll show you that zero right now. Here's the very first zero that I shot when I very first started my, my evaluation process on the Type 2 RMR. Now that group was fired at 25 yards using 124 grain gold dot. Now here is a five round group that I shot about 15 minutes before I started filming this. Same distance, same ammunition. Now what went on between those two zeros? How about a whole lot of shooting, a whole lot of one hand manipulations, and a whole lot of drop tests.
I think that serves uh, to kind of highlight the advantages to the Trijicon design that they went with the RMR. Uh, the owl ears are really where it gains a lot of its strength, but I think the quality of the electronics and the quality of the glass that go into it as well lend itself very well to providing a very, very durable optic. Now, that doesn't mean that the optic can't go down because RMRs have failed. I've had RMRs fail me. Uh, the Cerakote ones, I've had the actual lens window pop out on that model. So nothing is infallible, nothing is perfect, nothing is indestructible. But when works is designed, I'm getting 20,000 rounds, arguably using this optic harder than most end users ever will. Uh, if you drop your gun, which hopefully you never do, but if you do drop your gun, the RMR can handle it. If you're in a class or you're, you're God forbid, having to do it in the real world and you're using a rifle and the handgun's holstered and you roll on it on concrete or in a law enforcement duty setting, you end up going, with the, going to the ground with a suspect rolling around with him, it's very easy for lesser optics to break. And that's not something we want. I want, especially when I think about duty or even concealed carry use, I don't want my optic to become inadvertently broken by contact with the environment. It has nothing necessarily to do with drops. I just feel like the shoulder height drop test is a very reliable standard with which to judge how much force the optic can take at one specific point in time. And this one took it very, very well. First round to last round maintained zero, and I was not able to even barely, not at all, crack the glass throughout that 20,000 round process, those 40 shoulder height drop tests, as well as a lot of one-handed manipulations off of various objects, objects in my environment. Uh, that 20,000 rounds was mostly 124 and 124 plus P ammunition, because this is my, anytime I'm teaching a red dot class, this is most likely gonna be the gun I'm gonna teach the class with. Uh, so it sees a lot of 124 and a lot of 124 plus P, and it handled first to last round, well, excellent. I have 100% trust in the Trijicon RMR. I don't really know what else I can say at this point. I'm probably just going to go ahead and retire this, object, uh, this optic, uh, go ahead and stop the value. I mean, it's still going to shoot it, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's earned retirement at 20,000 rounds. I'm going to continue to shoot it, continue to use it, probably do periodic updates, but I think those 40 shoulder height drop tests and the 20,000 rounds and all the one-handed manipulations and the extreme heat and the extreme cold cycles that I also put the optics through during that process, are enough. I don't think I really need to uh, go further than this. Uh, I'm just very, very pleased in the fact that I don't have to move the goalposts or change the way questions are asked in order to validate my choice of optics. The RMR is the most durable, in my opinion, red dot sight on the market for handgun use, and I'm definitely going to keep using them. I'm Aaron Campbell with Stage Dynamics. Train accordingly.